Hello friends, welcome back to Math Time with Mrs. Idas. Today we are going to do the next page in topic five, which is five dash two. We are counting, reading, and writing numbers 13, 14, and 15. Let's review what we learned yesterday, friends, because that information will help you today when we build the numbers 13, 14, and 15. So let's go ahead and look at Mrs. Ida's tens frame. So yesterday, we learned that when we see a full ten frame, we know that's number 10. We don't even need to recount it. But just for practice, let's go ahead and try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A full ten frame will always show me the number ten. Yesterday, we learned that if we add one more, a 10 and a 1 is 11. 10, 11. Then we learned that if we have a 10 frame with two more, we know that's a 10 and two ones, which is the number 12. Since we're going to keep counting on today to make the number 13, 14, and 15, Let's go ahead and take a look at what our 10 frame would look like if we made the number 13. So if a 10 and two ones is 12, what will a 10 and three ones be? Did you say 13? You are right. A 10 and three ones is 13. Let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. That's right, a 10 and three ones is 13. How do you think I would show 14 using my 10 frames? Yes, that's right. It would be a 10 and four ones. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. A 10 and four ones is 14. Great job. How about if I wanted to show the number 15 on a 10 frame with two 10 frames? Did you say a 10 and five ones? You are right. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Great job counting on. So now that we've practiced with 10 frames and our counting dots, Let's go ahead and look inside of our math workbook at 5-2, counting, reading, and writing 13, 14, and 15. So star number one shows us a row of 10. Let's make sure there's 10 there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. And then there are one, two, three in this row. So that means that we have a 10, I'm going to trace my 10, and one, two, three ones. That's right, a 10 and three ones make 13. Remember, we use the dots to go down because numbers fall from the sky. So a number one is just straight down, you know that. And then a three starts a bit lower, but we're going to curve it up to the sky, to the middle fence, and then curve it again down to the grass. 13, a 10 and three ones. Fantastic, boys and girls. So how about 14? So we see in this picture that it's labeled as 10. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Great job. Let's go ahead and box it up. It's like a long line of cubes, isn't it? And now how many are left out of the box? One, two, three, four. So a 10 and four ones is 14. So go ahead, make your one 
and then your four is like an uppercase L to the fence and then a tall line going down. So one, we start from the top to the bottom and then the four, we start from the top to the middle, go to the right and then start at the top again and go down. We are making 14, a 10 and four ones. Excellent friends, great job. Okay, let's go ahead and look at making 15. So if we had a 10 and three ones for 13, a 10 and four ones for 14, this time we'll have a 10 and five ones for 15. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's trace the 10. Great job, friends. And let's see, do we really have five ones? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we do. So we have a 10 and five ones. Remember, body, belly, hat. Always start from the dots and go down. Body, belly, hat for a five. That's how we make a 15. Great job, boys and girls. Now, let's go ahead and turn the page to the back of 15-2. Here we are. We are going to continue counting, reading, and writing 13, 14, and 15 with little animal objects. So, we're going to make a box around a 10 frame and then count how many are left outside of the box and that's how we will build our number. So, I see a stinky little skunk. Let's count these little stinky skunks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it's a ten and four ones. Now let's take a look at the number fourteen. I see a ten, so I know I'll need one group of ten in a box and four ones. That means four skunks are outside of the box. So I see one, two, three, four. Here are four little skunks. They're going to be outside of the box, which means I know that I can make my line there and trace a box around the 10. So I have a 10, go ahead, label your box too, a 10 and four ones. That is 14. Great job. All right, I see some slithery snakes. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I know that's a ten and five ones. So I'll need one group of ten in the box and five on the outside of the box. So let's see, let's count five snakes. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to leave these snakes out and I'm going to put the rest in a box. Let's label. 10 and five ones. 10 and five ones is 15, a 10 and five ones. Okay, let's take a look at the fish next. Hmm, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 is a 10 and three ones. Let's look at our number. I know I'm going to have one box of 10 and three on the outside. So here are three right here. So I'm gonna make a line because I know I don't want those three in my box. And then I will box up the rest. That is 10 and three ones, 13. Great job, friends. Remember, if the video is going too quickly for you, you can always pause and continue again. Okay, I think these look like little salamanders. Hmm, maybe some type of lizard. Let's go ahead and use brown. Let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So a fifteen is a ten and five ones. That means one group of 10 is in a box and five are on the outside. So let's see. 
one, two, three, four, five. So let me put five on the outside and the rest I can box up. That's a 10 and five ones. I hope you're labeling your pictures like me. That helps you to see how to build numbers. So a 10 and five ones is 15. Excellent job, boys and girls. Let's do our little raccoons at the bottom. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's a ten and three ones. So I will box up ten. And how many are left out? Three. That's right. One, two, three. So I'll make my line right here. And I know that this is ten. Ten and three ones. A 10 and three ones is 13. Great job, friends. Now you know how to count, read, and write numbers 13, 14, and 15. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends.